This video sparked an online viral storm about the new iPhone 6 smartphones and how they bend under pressure. From there, hashtag Bendgate took off on social media with people bending their phones, blaming tight pants, and spoofing the whole story. Consumer Reports wanted to bring some science to the matter and find out how much force does it take for a phone to bend and not bend back. So we took six smartphones, including the new iPhones, into our labs for stress testing. We used what's called an Instron compression test machine, right behind me. We started at 10 pounds of force for 30 seconds, then released. Then we upped the force in 10 pound increments and noted when the phones first began to deform. Our test lineup? The iPhone 6 Plus, obviously, along with its comparably sized competitors, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and the LG G3. We also tested the smaller iPhone 6, along with the HTC One M8. And for Apple fans still holding on to their iPhone 5, we threw that one in too. We tested one sample of each. Turns out, it takes a lot of force to permanently bend one of these new iPhones. And all the other phones we tested, for that matter. Even the phones that bent first, the iPhone 6 and HTC One, took 70 pounds of force before bending permanently. The iPhone 6 Plus took more punishment at 90 pounds. But its smaller, thicker precursor, the iPhone 5, outperformed both its siblings in our test with no noticeable deformation until 130 pounds of force. Finally, there was the LG G3 and Samsung Galaxy Note 3, which sprang back to form up until we applied 130 pounds and 150 pounds, respectively. At that point, their screens separated from their cases and stopped working. For comparison, we tested a few pencils in the Instron. It took 80 pounds of force to break four. I got four right here. I can tell you, that's pretty tough. All right, maybe three. Ugh. Wow. And this is what 100 pounds of force looks like on a tennis ball, fresh out of the can. One note, a bent phone is bad, but can still function. All the iPhones in HTC One looked beat up after our initial tests, but we're still working. So we went further to see how much more they could take. As we moved beyond 90 pounds of force, the screens on those phones started separating from their cases. The iPhone 5 held out the longest of these four, maxing out at 150 pounds of force. Apple's official response is, with normal use, a bend in an iPhone is extremely rare, and through our first six days of sale, a total of nine customers have contacted Apple with a bent iPhone 6 Plus. So what's the bottom line for Bendgate? Well, based on our comparative tests here at Consumer Reports, while not the strongest phones on the market, fears of a serious structural design flaw in the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus seem overblown. Follow our ongoing coverage of the new iPhone 6s and all of our electronics reviews at consumerreports.org.